Hello everybody, I'm Sniping as Fun, and in today's quick little video, I'm basically just going to give my thoughts on, not this past Monday Night Raw, but the Monday Night Raw from last week, the fact that Kane did in fact return with his mask on, and the top five things that I, along with many other people, because this is not just my thoughts, but basically what I have read over YouTube and you know IG and whatnot on what they need to do with Kane and, and in most instances I agree with it basically the top five things on how the WB should handle the new newly reformed newly returned Kane masks and basically like I said it's not just my thoughts but mainly a lot of people because a lot of them are things that other people have said and I have agreed on and there's five, there's five things that WB needs to do to make sure this Kane return with his mask does not turn out to be a complete failure in order to make it actually good. The number one thing they need to do is make sure that this is not a short, you know, time frame. Okay, we're just going to give him the mask for like two or three months and then unmask him again. No, they need to keep the mask on him for quite a few years and probably until he retires because um, I don't think they're going to unmask him again and if they do it's going to be later on down the line a couple years down the line what they need to make sure they do is don't make this a short time frame a t short time span like just giving it to him for like a month or two or three and then take the, the mask off of him and make him unmask bald cane again like they have had basically from like 2003, the end of the summer of 2003 to basically like early 2011, like mid 2011. They can't have they like that he's bald that entire time, like no mask and bald and everything. They need to make sure this mask version of Kane stays for either the rest of his career because I don't think Kane has many years left in his career. He's going to retire sooner or later, a couple years down the line. So probably just hold off until he retires. Or if he doesn't retire, like maybe give it like three, four years mask. Like don't make this a short time span. I think it would work better for Kane's character, and I'm sure many people would agree with that statement if they keep Kane masked, because it always seems to help help his character more. Because when he became unmasked, or like the first two or three years, he was okay. When he was at first unmasked, he was still the monster Kane. He took out RVD. He took out Shane and Linda McMahon and he was a big monster and then Undertaker came back at the Royal Rumble in 2004 and basically took him out and he was still a monster in 2004 and like even in 2005 with the whole Gene Snitsky, Lita and all that stuff storylines and even in 2006 to an extent but when it, and maybe sometime in 2008 during his ECW title run but mostly like from like 2007, like actually 2006 slash 7 onward he's been kind of quite a joke and when they actually started pushing Kane as a face it really didn't work out so well and even his heel run last year when he was the world heavyweight champion brought Paul Bear back and everything it was good but not great it was like an okay good like concept for his character but he still wasn't like the monster Kane that he was like in the late 90s and early 2000s kind of thing and when he was first unmasked so pretty much like I said keep the mask on him it works better for his character and makes like the more intimidating kind of a he, like a character to him. The second one goes into that kind of like how they are pushing Kane through those years and especially when they decide to make Kane face. What they need to do with Kane now as the newly masked heel Kane because he's going after John Cena, they need to give him a monster push. They cannot push him wrong. They cannot mess this up. They can't have him look weak. They can't have him look like he can be beaten easily. Like, let's say the first time he goes into a peer review, which since he's in a few with John Cena, I'm sure if he's not in the Royal Rumble at Royal Rumble, he's probably fighting John Cena or whatever he's doing. He'd be doing at the next pay per view. He like gets eliminated quickly in the Royal Rumble, or he loses to his opponent or so. If it's not by like him disqualifying himself and just taking out his opponent, they need to give him that monster heel push to the point where. He, the, the character is so intimidating, he almost always wins, or if he doesn't win, he gets himself disqualified and just takes out his opponent and just looks like that monster heel threat Kane, like like a major threat to like a lot of characters, like he was when he debuted back in the late 90s as 
you know, Undertaker's younger brother with Paul Bearer taking on the Undertaker and looking like a ma major threat kind of thing. He needs that monster push because if they push him badly, it's going to look bad because with this Max Kane, he's so intimidating. Like to make him just lose so easily or look weak would would totally make this entire return a failure. It's like he brought the ma they brought Kane's mask back just to make him look weak and look like a joke, and that's not what they need to do. Um, the second one, uh, I mean the third one. I mean, I'm sorry. Um, when it comes to him talking, and this is mainly a lot, a lot of what other people said, have him be silent. And this is my, like, have him, like, never talk, people say. My opinion on this is, I think he should talk, but he should hardly ever talk. He should have, like, maybe when he's in a promo, like, being interviewed backstage, maybe he says, like, a short, like, one or two sentences and just makes it sound intimidating and, like, serious and just walks off. Or maybe he doesn't talk at all, you know. Give, don't have him be, like, like how Kane was talking, like, all the time before. You know, give, maybe have him hardly ever talk, or, I just thought of this right now, give him a manager, but Paul Bear's kind of played the death now, especially since Paul Bear returned last year. Give him someone else, maybe, to like play the role of a manager type character, but if have him hardly ever talk. Um, and when it does, in the number four, when it comes to promos, when he does, in fact, talk, because he's going to talk anyways. I, I, I said in the third one, having him stay silent is mainly a lot of what other people have said, but um, I don't think they're going to keep him silent. In my opinion, I think he should talk a little bit, but hardly ever talk. Um, his promo should be like making the character intimidating, and I think, in my opinion, I don't know if anyone will agree with me on this, um, my opinion, I think Kane should go into talking about how Kane was acting like, you know, those 2000, like, like the years he was unmasked, from like 2003 to 2011, basically. Like the first couple of years, he was still like the monster Kane with the unmasked kind of thing. He was like, he, he was, he had like the disfigured face and he didn't like people like laughing at him and he was all like an outcast kind of a thing. Um, and he was still a monster heel beating down people kind of a thing, even when he lost Undertaker. But then he slowly became into that, the face character, teaming up with Big Show and stuff like that throughout like 2006 and seven, And like he, he recently won a team with Big Show again and stuff like that. Um, have him talk about what happened to him, like why he was like so weak or so like, you know, like, like his character, how his character was back then. I think they need to go into backstory on this and say why he was like that. And maybe go into reference saying when he has the mask on, he has like power or some kind of, he's more of a threat. He feels like he's more at home with his mask and he doesn't, because he doesn't like showing his face and he, and he feels stupid for the stuff he's done in recent years. Like he's like pandering to the crowd when years before he didn't care what the crowd thought. He would just like, would more want to jump in the crowd and knock someone out rather than wanting to like pander to the crowd and be a good goody good two shoes face kind of a thing. Um, have him talk about why maybe something got to him or some reason why he was so face at the time. Like give it to a character because it's gonna be more believable when we see that he's an evil heel mask cane again. When we maybe we know a reason why he was acting like that in previous years because those were the worst years of Kane. Kane should like never be a face. Tweener, sure. Heel, most of the time. Face, should be never. I mean, maybe his face years like in 2000, like one, two, and three when you steam up RBD and X Pac and all that stuff were fine, but or maybe more of a tweener role too. But um, a face is not really a role Kane logically, realistically looks like he fits. And number five, he hardly has to lose. And when he does, it should be like disqualification. Like randomly, like he just takes a chair shot and knocks out an enemy or he takes the post off. He does heelish things. He's a monster. Maybe he chokes, the, he's, he holds the guy in the ropes or the turn buckle too long for the five count or, you know, something like that. He gets himself disqualified. If he gets himself disqualified, I can see some losses. Or if maybe, like, the superstar gets lucky, but then after the match, Kane gets angry enough to tombstone and just leaves the ring, leaving the winner, like, like knocked out kind of a thing. 
or something like that. I mean, I think he could lose, but he should hardly ever lose, if at all, kind of a thing. And that's my thoughts on uh, the top five things many people, not just myself, think Kane should be doing. Some of them are my own thoughts, especially the promos and talking about recent years. A lot of the other ones, I'm sure a lot of people would agree with me on. And I know I've went on longer than this. I said short video, and it's 10 minutes right now. Um, but yeah, that's my top five things. I want to see what you guys think. If you're a wrestling fan, WWE, TNA, whatever like that, if you even know WWE and Kane and all that stuff and his newly matched return, tell me what you think of these five things. Put what you think they should do with them, and I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Please subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you guys in the next video.